Hello everybody, it's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. Today's episode, we're going to be drawing a brick wall. Now, a brick wall may sound like a simple object, but it's actually a smaller part of other larger objects you might want to draw. For instance, you might want to draw a castle, or a schoolhouse, or maybe you'd like to draw a really large brick wall. Well, to do that, you're going to have to be able to draw a brick wall, which we're going to do right now. Now, a brick wall, like any wall, is wall-shaped. So we're going to want to start with a large rectangle, something like that. The next thing we're going to want to do is create the rows for the bricks because all of those are going to be even. So we'll make a couple of horizontal lines and we'll try to be as even as possible because bricks are fairly standard. That's a brick joke, if anybody got that. Oh, my oven is preheated. That's always a good thing when you're trying to preheat your oven. Making chicken tonight should be good. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create the edges of all the bricks, which will actually create our brick pattern. Now bricks are rectangle, and our bricks are going to be about that ratio, or that proportion. So what we will do then is we will make another line straight below it, but skipping a space, and then another below that. Then we're going to move over and do the same thing, another rectangle over. And we'll repeat it again, all the way across our brick wall. And don't worry if this isn't perfect, especially if your brick wall has loads and loads of rows. It can look quite nice if the pattern is a little bit off, as ours will be, I guarantee it. The next thing we want to do is make the alternating rows by creating lines in between the lines we drew on the rows that we haven't drawn in yet just like I just did. And I'm doing again. Now whenever possible, a good thing to do is to draw from up to down, because that's the way you have the most control over your pen. Now remember to keep this pattern going. You can see how very, very uneven my rows are now that we've got everything down. But that's okay. Just realize, it's your wall, your bricks, they can be however you want. Now it's nice to give your wall a little bit of dimension. What you can do is make a little diagonal line like that, and bring that down too. The next thing you want to do is match this diagonal line, and connect all of these lines, Cross. And that'll make it look like the ends of the bricks. A nice thing we can do at this point is draw a little bit of grass again at the bottom of this brick wall. Just like we did with the tree and the mushroom, this gives the brick wall a place to be. It's in the grass. You can even draw a little flower if you want by drawing a little line in a circle. You know how to draw this kind of flower already, probably. You've probably drawn, drawn tons of them. And, ta-da, we have a brick wall. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the share button, uh, subscribe to this channel. I'll be drawing many more things with you in the future. And more complicated things, too, once we get the basics down.
So until next week, I'm the Reverend Jay Goldstein. Ta-da!